These days, I feel a bit down sometimes because of all the things I can't do with my broken leg. But I can still bake, and home-baked things always cheer me up. So I consulted my mum's handwritten cookbook and decided to make German apple pasties. Having been given a wheelchair helps a lot to get round the kitchen to gather all ingredients and utensils. For the pastry, I mix 250 sugar. grams of flour, 125 grams of oh, sugar, got the knife now. Hang on. 100. Okay, you're very good at that machine now. Yeah. Grand Prix cooking, yeah. really. Do it. Make a little hollow. An egg. Plop. Cover it up a bit. Bye bye, egg and 180 grams of butter. Some people use food processors. This is my food processor. <laughs> Processing food with it. Yeah, ball of dough. I peel and core the apples. Yeah, talk there we go. Cool, blimey. Oh no! You missed. <laughs> <laughs> Aiming at this. Yes! Getting better. And roll out the pastry, about half a finger thick. I remember my mum making these for us when we were children. Thanks, Mama. I fill each apple with marzipan, raisins and chopped almonds. But you can use whatever you fancy. Hazelnuts, chocolate chips, cinnamon, honey, whatever you like, really. Then I wrap the apples in the pastry. I like to seal them with a cut-out shape of pastry. Today the shamrock cookie cutter was the first one I found in the drawer. I glaze the pastry with a bit of egg. Then off into the oven for about half an hour at 180 degrees Celsius. Mm. Delicious with a blob of hot custard. I grew up in Germany, so these have a suitable German name. Um, it's called Apfel im Schlafrock. So it's uh, an apple in a sheep's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Schlafrock. Oh, sleeping. In, in, sleeping a, in, a in, a, in a sleeping gown, in a dressing gown. How's your apple in a dressing Gorgeous. gown? Gorgeous. Absolutely. The taste is so nice. Wunderbar.